in this video we will see front end machine coding question crypto dashboard the interviewer provide us this ui mock up and we need to create this ui and this cards data is dynamic data means it is fetched from the api and populated in the card so interviewer will provide us this api also so when i hit this api we will get this response as we can see bitcoin btc bitcoin current price and in the ui we can see this data the interviewer expected from us is to create this dashboard using this api so in this video we will create this crypto dashboard using html csn and javascript so first i will create folder crypto dashboard so i will open this in vs code so inside this folder i will create index.html for html code and for style code i will styles.css so inside index.html i have created simple template for html and here i have used live server extension you can search here and see live server so it will help us to load our code without refreshing the page index.html right click so it will open this open with live server when i click on this it will open in chrome as we can see it shows this is heading and this is paragraph let's minimize this chrome to see side by side ui changes and vs code so here we can see our side by side code editor and browser so if we change anything here we can directly reflect here so here i will change this is crypto page so as you can see without refreshing we can see this is crypto page means live server is helped us to reload automatically so we will change our title to crypto dashboard so it will change in the tab of the browser so here i will change with crypto dashboard so here we can see it reflects crypto dashboard and below we need card ui as we can see here for this card ui we need to create container so we will create one container for card ui so class will be card container so as you can see in the red box in the browser this is our container inside container we need to create card ui so here i have defined card container inside we will create card ui so now i will create div class it will be our card so we have created card div and it will represent this as you can see in blue so inside this we need to create image so let's create div for image let's define it class equal to image and with image tag we will give source and let's give class name to the image also inside this card we have this description also so we need to create different view for this let's create class equal to details means we need to create this crypto details as you can see in the green color i have created this box it represent details div inside the detail div we have two rows one this one and another one is this so we will create two divs so we will define its class as row so class equal to row and i will copy this for creating next div so inside first row we need to create 
name of bitcoin so i will write as a name and after that write price in another row we need to write bitcoin short name so i will write short name and another is change so it represents change price in percent so as we have created this much but we cannot see card because we have not added any css in it so let's add css we need to define card width and height so card width will be 400 pixels and height will be 100 pixels and background color white so right now also we cannot see any changes so now we will add box shadow 0 pixels 0 pixels means x offset y offset and color will be 0 comma 0 comma 0 0.2 so we have created this css and we cannot see any changes here because we have not linked our css file in this so we need to link our css file link style sheet href file path where it is uh, css file name so as i have added this we can see the card ui so right now we cannot see image so i will add here some text because we need to populate this image from api so as we can see so it's displayed in the left side so we need to center it like this i need to add class for it so i will add this as heading for crypto dashboard and in style dot heading dot heading to text align center so we can see it is in center and we need to center this card ui also so here the red box defines card container so in card container we need to center the items so i will do center here so inside card containers we need to center so display flex justify content center now see we have centered this card ui also now we need to position the image in the left and the details on the right so we will use here grid one row and two columns one for image and another for details so i will write here display grid grid template row will be one and we need grid column one fr one fr means two column as we can see it is divided into two columns but we need first column should be small as you can see here so we will decrease it by 0.3 yeah it's look better now now it is in the corners of the card as we can see image is near to the so it's not look good so we will do padding here padding of 10 pixels so yeah it's look good after that when we see this mouse icon so it's not look good so we will change it to cursor pointer so as we can see here it's changed now here we need to center the image our image is at top and we need to center the image and we need to do space between this details also so first we will do image center so we will use image class display plus justify content center and in the column also we need center as soon as i save this file and we can see image is in center so for these details we need to do now so details is whole div so details 
display flash and flash column flex column we are doing space in between rows so as we can see we have done space between them now the remaining part is we need to do space between name price and short name and change percent so this is inside row so we need to apply css on row So we will write display flash so it defines for one row and we need to justify content space between them so as we can see we have image name price short name and change percent is same as it is only the difference is it is populating data from api we have created our card ui and the corners are not looking good so we will create border radius border radius 10 pixels so now it's looking good now the remaining part is this is bold and this is in red color so now we will do this changes so first this pen so let's give this class name and this price and this class to symbol and this class to percent so now we will apply css on name and price so name comma price font size 22 pixels and front weight should be bold so it's looking good now we need to target symbol and percent so we will change it css symbol comma percent so we will change its front size to 20 pixels so as you can see it's changed and we need to change the color of the percent so red so only remaining part is now we need to populate this data dynamically so i will create here file index.js and I will attach this file here at the end of the body script src index.js so I will write my javascript code here so let's create data to store our data so when the page is loaded we need to display this card so on the fetch we need to fetch from the API the whole data so i will write document dot add event listener downloaded so we will use this callback inside this i will write fetch code fetch and this api i will copy from this after that dot then so on the page load we can see this console now let's see if we are able to see or not now let's refresh the page so here we can see index.js line number 9 is executed means we are getting data from API 
so now we need to insert this data into card ui we need to take this card container inside this we need to populate all the card ui so i will give this id card container so let card container document dot get element by id card container we are doing this because we need to add cards inside this container so we will store our data is after that we will iterate through whole data to create the cards so inside card container we need to add the ui so i am closing this here and now inside card container dot inner html we need to add this card ui so i will copy this tilde symbol i will add this when i click on save we can see this cards but they are right now in rows so we need to convert into column so let's add some css on it so inside card container we need to change it to flex direction to column and it is not center so i need to add items aligned items to center so now as we can see it is in center but the cards are overlapping each other as you can see so we need to create some space so we will use margin bottom to give space between them so i will add margin bottom 10 pixels as i say we can see the space between them and now we will change the data into dynamic one so here we need to add image i will add here image in src so image is from the api response we will get it is image tag as we can see here so we will we can write data of i image for name we can see name here so i will add data of i name for price we can see current price so data of i dot current price for short name we need to write data of i dot symbol and for percentage we need to write data of i dot market cap change underscore percentage underscore 24 market underscore cap underscore change underscore percentage underscore 24 now let's say and see the ui yeah the ui looks good but the image size is very big so we need to change the image size so for image we have class img so we will change image size width equal to 70 pixels so now it's looking good and we will change its height also 70 pixels but uh, this change percent is displaying undefined so let me check i had i think i had write out wrong key so i will change it now we can see here from undefined it is changed to the data but we are seeing this first card empty because 
we have added in the HTML so we will remove this now so we can see our crypto dashboard as same as this one so in this further enhancement you can do this negative to red color and positive to green color i hope you understood this front end machine coding crypto dashboard if you like this video please click on the like button if you are new to this channel please subscribe to this channel and share this video with your friends thank you friends for watching this video i will see you in next video of front end machine coding with another question bye friends